Hello and welcome to Maverick Minutes. I'm Brandi Green. And I'm Abby Starkey coming at you with the latest in Spring Hill Middle School news. This week is the Super Bowl of Caring. The Super Bowl of Caring is for the people that can't get food. The money from the bake sale will go to the Spring Hill Food Pantry to help some needy Spring Hill residents out. Next week, we will bring you an update for the money present to Chris Lowe at the Multipurpose Center in Spring Hill. Well, Abby, we're both in SAC. We can both say that that really goes to a good cause. Now let's go to Kale with some national news on the presidential debate and their solution to global warming. Thanks, Brandon. Last week, there was another Democratic presidential debate. This time revolved around a problem I'm sure you've heard of, global warming. Let's take a look. Many Democratic voters are passionate about the need to do something to combat the threat of climate change, including the uh. team of scientists from YouTube's Minute Earth channel. Here's their take. Hello from Minute Earth. Fossil fuels have long kept our cars moving and our light bulbs lit. But we now know that burning these fuels releases heat-trapping gases that are warming the planet, causing seas to rise and contributing to extreme weather events like South Carolina's devastating flooding last year. Fighting human-caused climate change means giving up our global addiction to fossil fuels and shifting the bulk of the world's energy supply to alternative sources. Some countries have acted decisively to make this transition, but here at home we still get a whopping 82% of our energy from coal, oil, and natural gas. In the U.S., political gridlock, pressure from industry lobbyists, and insufficient R&D have made an already tough battle against climate change even tougher. Senator Sanders, Americans love their SUVs, which spiked in sales last year as gas prices plummeted. How do you convince Americans that the problem of climate change is so urgent that they need to change their behavior? I think we already are. Younger generation understands it instinctively. Global warming is defined as the gradual increase of the temperature of Earth's atmosphere and oceans. It is caused by fumes called greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are gases like methane and carbon dioxide released into the air through energy sources such as coal, oil, and gasoline. Scientists believe they are permanently changing our climate, and if we don't do something about it, those natural disasters are in the future. The next elected president will play a huge role in the fight against greenhouse gases and global warming, but the ones who will really make the change is us. Our generation is the ones who will really feel the repercussions, and we are the only ones who can stop this problem. Back to you guys. Thanks for that story, Kill. And now we go to our new segment, Maverick's Got Talent. Good afternoon, this is Lily Kuhn with this week's Mavs Got Talent. This week brings us to Madison Avenue Performing Arts pr production of The Seussicle. Right here with me I have some middle schoolers who are cast members of the play. What is your favorite part about being in The Seussicle? Corey? Um, I like being with everyone here and it's really funny even when we're not on the scenes you can see really funny things. Elizabeth? I love all the energy that everyone has, and just everyone is so supportive of everybody. Uh, Abby? Well, I really like meeting all the people. There are kids my age, there are kids older than me, there are kids younger than me, and even with all the different age groups, we get along really well. Annabelle? I like, you know, all the energy and how big everything is, and even if you have a smaller part and you're not as involved in the show, everyone still like makes everyone feel welcome. Well as a cast member I can personally tell you that it's really fun to be in and it's a great show. You can buy tickets from any of these cast members for seven dollars or you can buy it at the door here at the middle school for eight dollars on the days of the play on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Friday and Saturday for at seven o'clock and Sunday a matinee at two. Abby, we do have a lot of talent in our school, and we'll try to bring you a story each week about some of our incredible students. As you saw, I am in the play, and I can say that there is a lot of talent. I hope to see you there. Hey, Brandon, you know what time it is? What time is it, Abby? It's Flashback Friday.
That sure was fun, Abby. Now let's go to our sports catcher, Caleb Nelson. Thanks, guys. Wow, there's a lot of sports going on this week. Tuesday night, our eighth grade boys almost brought down the house by nearly pulling off a buzzer beater. After being down 13 in the first half, our Mavericks battled back in the last couple of minutes by making their free throws and some clutch shots. They were down by just one point with the ball. The boys gave it a great effort but fell short. Mr. Hunsaker said it was one of the best efforts he has ever seen since he has been coaching at SHMS. In the 7th grade game last night, the 7th grade was down 7 at the start of the 4th quarter and battled back to win by 9. Mr. Abel and Cooper Jones recapped the game. Uh, you know, going into the fourth quarter, we were down by about uh, seven, I think, and really just pushing the guys to understand we were in a good situation. We just needed to continue to put that pressure on with our press, and sure enough, a couple quick turnovers for points put us back into it. Uh, Cooper, especially late, did a great job getting a lot of open shots and finishing his free throws to help us put it away. Uh, we knew we needed to step up in the fourth quarter. We needed to keep our uh, pressure up. We needed to step that up. We need to seal the deal. That's all for sports. Now it's time for our mystery employee. Our mystery employee grew up in Plainville, Kansas, went to Washburn University, has won many awards in sports, and has been a champion in fantasy football for four years. He, his favorite activity is coaching football at the high school. The mystery employee is, drum roll please. Going to be announced after the weather with Ethan Kicker. What's the weather looking like this weekend, Ethan? All right, thanks, guys. Uh, let's take a look at the weekend forecast. That looks fantastic. We'll get a little bit of spring fever going. Uh, it's looking good. And let's go to today's weather. Friday, a high of 60 and a low of 30. Sunny conditions, no chance of rain on Friday. And then once we get to your weekend, still looking fantastic. Saturday, a high of 55 and a low of 40 degrees. Also, sunny conditions. Sunday, we have a little bit of cloud cover, but still very nice, a high of 52 and a low of 35. Again, the clouds increasing. Monday is when the big storm will arrive. It's expected to bring us a lot of snow. Monday, a high of 46 and a low of 38. The storm will start out as rain and then turning into snow on Groundhog Day. Snow amounts are a little bit tricky to forecast, anywhere from four to eight inches of snow. I think the storm track will dip a little bit farther south, which will bring us more snow. Anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of snow is my prediction. And if that is correct, guaranteed a snow day on Tuesday and maybe Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday's high is 37 degrees. The low is 17. Again, that chance of snow. And the snow will move out of here by uh, Wednesday, and we will get a lot of snow from that um, storm. Guaranteed a snow day, in my opinion. We will get a snow day on Tuesday, but enjoy the weekend. It is looking fantastic. Uh, don't get spring fever on me because it's going to get some snow, but uh, enjoy the weekend. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. Back to you. The views of our meteorologist, Ethan Keeker, do not necessarily reflect the views of a school district regarding snow days. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Our mystery employee is our 7th and 8th grade history teacher, Mr. Garing. All the students enjoy his classes because he makes learning about the past a lot of fun. Thanks for all you do in making SHMS such an awesome place to come to. Before we say our goodbyes, what do you call a number that can't keep still? What, Abby? A Roman numeral. Oh, Abby. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on Maverick Minutes.